time for me to show you what I've been battling for the past month. Coming up in this video. So, let's open it up. And this is what we are currently at right now. The BMW has been torn apart because for some reason, when I put my key inside of the ignition, the starter does not start. I can turn the key on, everything under the hood will click, make noises. I can go under the car and jump the starter from the power, the big positive power lug to the other side, the solenoid side, and it fires right up. Car runs fine and everything. But based off of the key, the key itself, when you give it that final little push, it doesn't do anything. So then I went on a hunt looking at every single wire, wiring diagram and everything. And I ran into so many problems, so many problems that it's been truly discouraging. I even bought a tone generator and a toner, which when you turn them on, it lets you trace wires. If I turn it on, It lets you trace wires. And I have been unsuccessful with every single part of this process. So just a few problems that I've ran into with the car is wiring diagram. For some reason, BMW has different wiring diagrams for uh, the same car, different years, different months, different security packages, split years of 94, 95, 95, 96, all kind of craziness like that. And it has made trying to find the correct wiring diagram impossible. Take, for example, this car. This is a 1995 318 Ti. This is the problem. The wiring diagram for a 95 318 Ti is wrong. It does not work for this car. So then I have to look at a 1995 318i or an IS, and those will have different ones. As you guys remember, I started working on this car trying to figure out the security issues. EWS2, I got that deleted with the chip. Some people say there's a relay that happens after the chip. Some people say that there's not a relay. There has to be some kind of relay to handle that kind of switched power dealing with a starter. The amperage that's required is a lot. You can't run that straight through a switch. That's that's not going to happen. That's not how electricity and voltage works, you know? So I've been fighting with each and everything. And the BMW does crazy things. Like, it will go from the ignition switch itself. It'll have power there. I have main power at the starter, but I don't have uh, switched on power as far as like cranking power. I don't have any of that. So then I try tracing the wire and the wires does crazy things. It goes from yellow and black to green and blue and then to a different color. And I lift up the uh, fuse box that's under the hood and there's 15 green wires with a yellow tracer. Why do you have that many of the same? Why? You, you can't differentiate what wire is what because they're all the same thing and you know electrical work is not my strongest i will be honest with you guys but this right here i have been fighting just straight out insanity and everything that i know should work it just hasn't been working so i'm gonna fix it all right i'm gonna fix it the car turns on everything works that usually works besides the windows and those haven't those haven't been working but uh, I'm going to install a push button, a push button start. As long as the key is on, I hit it, it's going to manually basically jump those wires on the starter and it's going to crank it. And then the car is going to run. And then when I want to cut the car off, I turn the key off and that's it. It's done. Because I am simply tired of dealing with this problem and I'm ready to drive my car. I'm, I'm truly ready. Back inside of the shed and you see... Uh, some old mirrors if you haven't looked at the last video please check it out i replaced this crappy mirror here with mirrors that actually work and actually help me see but what i wanted to show you guys was everything that's going on over here so excuse the multimeter because we're not dealing with that but right now what i bought was this 
I bought one of these wiring harnesses to make it easier for me instead of just running wire here, wire there, and it already comes with a relay. Now, usually you would use this, and I bought this off of Amazon for maybe 12, 15 bucks, and it powers your LED lights. But this harness is what I'm going to use. Of course, it's got uh, two sets where if you were running two sets of lights, we're not worrying about that. We will close these off the second set. And I also has it have a push button switch. Now this one was way smaller than I was anticipating. And this is a momentary switch, which means when I press it, as soon as I let go, it stops. It doesn't have a latching mechanism or anything like that. It's not always on or anything like that as well. So now I may, I don't know exactly, but I might just use the actual push button that's on this harness, which is this right here. It is also red. But this one is a on off kind of deal on off on off and anybody else they turn it on the car just gonna keep starting 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 cranking 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 and myself is probably gonna take some getting used to so I don't know if I'm going to use this or not you turn it on momentarily the car cranks up you cut it off but I feel better with this push button even though this one is way way smaller than than anticipated, you know, my finger can't even fully fit in there. So maybe I'll use this for the time being, then uh, search around and get a different one and replace it. Also, the leads on the back are very teeny tiny, so I may have to sort of that. But this is what we're going to use to actually fix the BMW. So I'm gonna uh, put the hood up and everything and we're gonna get started on this. So I originally thought that I could use, kind of go through this uh, fuse box here and get up under there and kind of snake it in down up in there. Unfortunately, I can't. It is sealed in very nicely and very tight. So of course it can't be seen, but right by the steering shaft right there, I'm gonna pop a hole right next to it and then I'm gonna run my wires in through it hopefully that should do it and then from there all i'd be doing is connecting the battery so the terminals that i have i probably will have to change as well and see if i can find it these ones right here these aren't really going to work with uh those battery connections over there but either way we're going to plug away to get it going once i run the wire on the inside i can change the other ends probably these ends right here uh, these aren't gonna work on the starter those little lugs on there so I'm gonna have to see what I'm gonna do about that but I will take care of that as well and hopefully then we will have push start on the BMW and I just can't wait to get this done because I miss driving the car it seems like something happens and I will go a long time without being able to drive it we're not gonna keep that going so let's keep moving so I was able to get the hole drilled uh, if you can see it down there right where that blue screwdriver is is where I have a hole so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go up through here which I can barely get to it but it's hidden away very nicely so it should fit down up in there I don't know if you can see where the screwdriver head is but right right down there I can't get it to uh, focus, but that's where it's at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take, this is the only wire that has to go inside the car. I'm gonna take these off and find a way to tape it from here to the screwdriver to pull it through. Once it's all pulled through, that'll be it for dealing with inside the car until I actually, you know, route this button here. And will I still use this? Still kind of on the fence with what I'm going to do. But that will take care of the inside for the most part. Then I can go ahead and connect my power and then jack the car up with my jack. And go up under it and connect the proper uh, terminals to actuate the starter. So we're going to keep rolling. Yay! Oh, uh, when in doubt, electrical tape it out. Finally, it started to rain as well, but it stopped as well again. So we finally got this inside the car. I'm gonna unwrap all of that ugliness right there. I'm gonna unwrap that, then we'll keep on moving with uh, the other side of the car. So one thing to note when using this right here is these are the ends that have power and ground. Now. This would usually be going to a light. The light would be the load. So you'd have power going into the load, ground as well. But with this setup right here, since the main lug of the starter stays having power, power will go to the solenoid side. 
you will not I will not connect you know power on one side and then ground on another side because basically all I'd be doing is blowing fuses if I put power automatically to the big lug on the starter there's no load in between that you're gonna start popping fuses and stuff like that same thing with the ground if I put the ground on the other the solenoid side nothing is happening because we need power on the solenoid side so what I'd be doing here is putting power to the solenoid side that is it I could go ahead and ground this if I wanted to but that is what we're gonna do to bring power mainly to one side and that's it so if you can see right here that's the starter right there. The one, the big lug to the left goes up and we're not worrying about that one, but these, these two right here, you see the big power one? Power is already there, so we're good. So we are connecting power to right there in the middle, that little small lug one, and I'm gonna find out what size that is because I don't remember, and I'll place the power on that side, then ground out the other side to complete the circuit, and then from there, we should be able to crank the car over without having uh without the key working right the key still has to be in the ignition but then that'll be it so we're going to try that and see what happens note to self anytime that you're working on the starter Make sure you disconnect the battery. I arced the two together and almost crapped my pants because the engine was turning over. Oh man, that was scary but funny all at the same time. So now, if you can see, I got that wire on already. And now I just need to tighten it down. Once it's all tightened down, go up top, and we'll be all good. So everything is completely connected now. I've got the positive, the negative connected. I've got the relay connected as well. I've got the ground extension connected over here. Everything is connected under the bottom. So now this is a dry test, a test to see if everything is going to work. So first off, we are going to can't lower the jack. Well, I can't lower the jack. We're going to open the car door and we're going to see if this is going to work. I don't know, will it? Guys, we finally did it. We finally got the BMW to start. <laughs> I need to remember that, that I needed to uh, reconnect this uh, big power that's going and how to control the engine. That harness might need that ECU to there. Uh, yeah, but besides that, now we just need to tidy up. It starts. I will say this though, I will have to change this plug because as you just heard, I was freaking out. Why does it sound so horrible? The car is running a little rough, but it's mainly running rough because I am forgetting to turn this off already. So I'm gonna have to change that 
to a different momentary push button style to work a little bit better. I went to O'Reilly's and advanced to see what they had. They didn't have anything that I truly loved, but you know what, we'll make it work. Oh, finally, this is the longest version of how to install a push button start I have ever seen, but we have finally made it and we are finally, finally, finally victorious. So we're gonna tidy this car up and then we will finally have a running and driving 95 318 Ti with a rocker start, if that's what you want to call it. And now guys, the car is back together. Look at that. Still needs a good detail, but it is back together. Feels good to be back together. Little panel gap there, I need to fix that. But I've also got it loose so that way I can run this wire here up through here. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this. This is just a temporary thing, but man, the car is finally back together. And it's cranking, which is truly the most important thing. Well guys, that'll be it for me. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down, but at least tell me how I can improve my content. And guys, I just can't keep saying it enough, just how much I'm happy that this car is back together. It's been apart for so long. Again, it seems like every so many weeks or months, the car goes back down. The car's been kind of fighting me lately, but I know that it's only going to get better with time. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <clears throat> You guys are still here? You guys looking for a joke, huh? You know, I would tell you a construction joke, but I'm still working on it. Peace. Ugh.